Hello there. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Check in, check in. One, two, three. One, two, three. a snack and before you say anything i know that i am like the most inconsistent youtuber on the planet okay i know that i come post videos and then i don't come back for like months at a time but i promise you guys it's not intentional it's really not intentional um so in this video i'm going to be filling you guys in on what's been happening this these past what six months or so that i haven't posted what's been going on and most importantly uh, the main topic is how have I been able to actually stay 100 pounds down consistently uh, for this entire year? So before I continue with this video, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right here. That helps me a lot and it helps me know that you, my friend, want to keep seeing my content. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So Fit Fam, let me fill you guys in real quick during these past six months or so that you have not seen me okay a few things have happened that i feel like i should share okay first off i your sis graduated university so a round of applause for that i graduated and i got my bachelor's so i'm i'm so very happy and just feel so accomplished because not a lot of people graduate nowadays you know and not a lot of people still have that school-minded, you know, spirit to just keep going and keep going strong and getting your education. So I feel like that was important to say. And secondly, you know, I've been so, how can I put it, so just focused on myself. And this video is for those of you that struggle with not only losing weight, but making sure that you keep the pounds down. Because I'm not sure about you, but throughout my journey, I've, I've been really much up and down. I've been a yo-yo for most of my life, okay? I've been alive for 22 years and my weight has always been fluctuating up and down, up and down, up and down. But this year, from 2020 to right now, okay, 2021, I've been able to maintain my weight loss and keep it down. So I'm gonna be making your life simple, not overcomplicating how me, how I was able to keep my 100 pound weight loss and maintain while still enjoying my life. So let's go. First, to keep it very simple, I enjoy myself. And what does that mean? I go out with friends, I go out with my boo thing, I go out with my family, and I even take myself out to go eat. Now, you can't be strict. You cannot be too strict, okay? A failed diet means being too strict. I've learned this year that I can go out and have pasta. I can go out and have fries, okay? But you just have to make sure that you are burning enough calories to be able to enjoy that, you know, little cheat snack meal for the week. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there have been a few times where I tend to cheat like a little bit more than I should throughout the week, okay? But I make sure that I am balancing that with working out, doing some cardio or strength training with weights. But yeah, going out to eat and actually enjoying, okay, that that Sunday, because I love ice cream, enjoying that pizza and enjoying that fried chicken, okay? In order to maintain your weight loss, you have to come to terms with the fact that it is okay to return to eating the things that you have enjoyed that made you gain weight in the first place. I know, that's so confusing. An example to give for that is when I tried to lose weight before, the reason why I kept gaining weight was because I thought that it would be okay to, you know, not be consistent with my workout. So that's why those cheat meals actually made me gain weight and, and, and buy a surplus. I would gain weight a lot, but that was because I didn't have a workout routine put into place yet. So I've been able to maintain my weight loss by 
having foods that I enjoy, but also knowing that those healthy meals really count, okay? And knowing your body type also really matters, but balancing the foods that you eat with how many calories you're burning really is going to matter here, okay? So that's what I did. Secondly, I've been, you know, doing things that require me going outside more, whether it be me going on a walk or bike riding or even running outside or just being outside in general and doing things that are going to help me burn and sweat, like cleaning your house, okay? Of oh, dusting your furniture, going out to swim. Just don't stay inside your house too long, okay? Another example of me failing at this would be um, me staying inside too long, which is very obvious, and me not moving my body enough, okay? You have to get your booty up and go outside and at least walk. At least walk for like a half an hour, go walk your dog more. Just do, just start to do things that like require you to move more and you are going to see that you are going to be burning more calories than sitting inside in your house. See, it's not too complicated. This is real lifetime. Like this is what I did to maintain my 100 pound weight loss. Number three, number three really would be drinking more water, less alcoholic beverages, okay, and less juice and less sugary drinks and drinks that have calories in them. Now, I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but when it comes to drinking juices and, and sodas, I was a soda fanatic. My favorite soda was ginger ale and I loved Kool-Aid drinks. I loved really anything that tasted very sugary and sweet, but not drinking those things really helped with not only um, sticking to my weight loss goal, but clearing my skin as well, okay? And just making me lose weight. There was one weekend where I drank so much water that I actually lost like five pounds in the weekend. So that's another cheat sheet. If you are one that loves to go out and have your margaritas, I am I am guilty of that. I love my margaritas, but I need to put them down if I wanna keep my weight loss maintained and to me to live a, a happy, balanced lifestyle, okay? So put down the juice, put down any caloric beverage, be gosh, beverages and drink your water. And to make your water fun, you could put like lemon in there, you could put lime in there, cucumbers, you could put mint leaves in them, strawberries and berries, and you're still having water. But if you're one that needs a little bit of sweetness into it, put some fruit inside of your water and just drink it cold. That really helps maintain your weight loss and also lose more weight if you want to. And a bonus, who doesn't want clear skin? So there's that. The final, the final thing that I have done to maintain my weight loss is keep taking the products that work for me, okay? I'm not sure whether you guys remember, but if you're new here, I take products that help me detox my body, that helps me cleanse my colon, and that keeps my body getting rid of toxins and waste and food, parasites and mucus that doesn't belong in my body, which helps me also to lose weight, which is my detox tea that's right here in the back. So this detox tea, I took and I started to take January 16th of 2020, paired off with this Nutriburst right here, okay? And in my first four days, I lost 11.4 pounds. This is a liquid multivitamin, and this is a detox tea that helps you Go to the bathroom, okay? Not run into the bathroom, no diarrhea, no any of that, okay? But this tea right here, okay, with this multivitamin has helped, helped my journey this whole year and speed it up where I was able to lose 100 pounds down with the guidance of working out and having a balanced food lifestyle. I gotta say that these products were the main reason why I was able to keep the weight down. So if you need a little jump start in, in you know, not only becoming a healthier version of you, 
which is what I always strive for. If you are one that needs to clear your skin, have, you know, much better sleep because it does have, um, CBD in it, but mainly keep your body always, you know, flushing the bad things out, you know, and making sure that you're going to the bathroom while keeping that tummy and body on flat, flat. These products were, were the ones that helped me one year ago and still to this day, to this very day, guys, make sure that my weight is under control. So if you need to cop some products, okay, weight loss products, weight gain products, or weight maintenance, or even need a vitamin because everybody needs a vitamin, you can click the link that's in the um, box below or just comment to me or reach out because I'm always looking to help my fit fam out with whatever weight loss goal or just health goal that they may have, okay? So don't be afraid, I don't bite. But guys, when it comes to maintaining your weight and just keeping your weight loss, you know, and just your healthier lifestyle and maintenance where you're consistent, you can enjoy your life. You really can enjoy your life, okay? But you just have to know how to balance certain things with each other. Make sure that you are working out, okay, three to five times a week. Me personally, I work out like I work out like five to six times a week for like 30 minutes minimum to about an hour sometimes. And now that the gyms are open, I'm definitely back in there safely. But working out is a priority and just not thinking too much about the dieting. You have to make this a lifestyle for this to work for you. And just, you know, thinking that you can do it, it really, really helps because having that bad mindset of always wanting to you know drop five pounds and stepping on the scale too much is not good okay i stopped weighing myself entirely i probably do it like once a month but that does not help me like the more you stress about trying to lose weight the more you're not going to lose weight and the more stressed you're going to be because stress actually makes you gain weight okay i am one that knows and it makes you stuck so if you find yourself being stuck because you keep weighing yourself know that it's because you keep weighing yourself just live your life okay do what you know you're supposed to be doing have that healthy mindset okay healthy mind healthy spirit healthy soul go go do some some things that require you to move more okay don't just be sitting around in the house okay buy healthier groceries the main secret is just switching your lifestyle and always preparing to be your best self every single day when like you go out to eat pick the healthier option don't set yourself up for failure and don't do things that you know you shouldn't be doing that you are going to regret later okay but that's all for this video just take away that you just need to work out okay and don't kill yourself go go move for 30 minutes at least three to five times a week drink more water let go of the alcohol a bit okay and the sugary ju uh, juices and the sodas they don't help you i promise water a lot more water and three if you need to take your detox tea and multivitamin, I promise you, if you guys like really know my story, go look for my first video with me even talking about these products. They really helped me go from 274 pounds to maintaining a healthy weight of 170, okay? I'm living my best life and I'm trying to help everyone that I possibly can with their health and wellness goals. So that is all for this video. I really love talking to you guys and I'm so sorry that I'm inconsistent. I really want to come on here more, but I'm not going to promise you guys <laughs> anything. But if you want to reach out to me, follow me on my Instagram at nat 2 fit Okay, I'm always responding to your DMs all the time. And that's all. I'm with much love. I love you guys. Remember that health and wellness is so important and loving yourself and becoming the better version of yourself is so important. Put yourself first and know that I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed, take that time to subscribe now. Okay, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and family and have a good night if it's nighttime. It's nighttime over here for me. So goodbye. 
until next time